guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. In collaboration with Tiny Galaxy, which is a new YouTube channel for all things mobile tech with original programming, be sure to check out the link in the description and subscribe. This is the Android Toolbox Part 1. The Android Toolbox will be a six-part video series to cover Android essentials, whether you've had an Android phone for a while or you're just getting one now. In this first part, we're going to cover how to get multimedia, whether that's music, TV shows, or movies, onto your Android phone. So without further ado, let's get to it. So we're going to cover a variety of subscription services that let you consume an unlimited amount of content for a low monthly fee. But first, let's talk about the obvious choice, which is to download content, to buy content from the Google Play Store, which is of course on every Android device. Now, if you buy from the Google Play Store, it's going to be more expensive, but you will actually own the content. For example, if we go to top albums here, we'll see that albums are $12, $13, $14, as much as you would pay if you walked into a store and bought a physical album. What's great about buying from the Google Play Store is that the content is synchronized across all of your devices. So you can listen to the album that you just bought on your Android tablet or in your web browser on your laptop or desktop. So that is a really great feature of Google Play Music. Now, for movies and TV shows, they also get very expensive if you watch a lot of them. If you want to buy an entire movie and own it, again, it'll synchronize, but the problem is that it's $15 in a lot of cases for an HD movie, which is a little less expensive than a DVD, but still, it's a lot of money if you're watching a movie a week or two movies a week. Now, in some cases, you can actually rent a movie, which is great, a lower cost option for $3.99, you can rent a movie and watch it within a 24-hour window, or like, like I said earlier, you can buy content for 15 bucks. There are much cheaper options and better options out there that are subscription services. So let's start with music. Uh, one of the most popular music services, subscription-based, is Pandora. It has two levels of service. One is free and one is premium, and the premium service costs $3 per month. It's really $36 per year. Now, Pandora, of course, allows you to input an artist or an album or a song, and it will intelligently pick music that sounds just like or similar to what you've just input. So you kind of get a custom radio station, and over the years I've accumulated a lot of different radio stations, music that I like. Now if you pay that subscription fee for $3, you get a higher quality of audio, it streams, none of this is stored on your device, and you also get no advertisements. So Pandora is a really great service, especially if you want something that is free. So let's go back to the home screen here and talk about the next music service, which is Spotify. Spotify actually has three levels of service. A free level, which allows you to listen to a limited amount of, of streaming content. Uh, a middle ground level, which increases the audio quality, lets you do offline playlists. And then a, a, a premium service, which increases the audio quality. The premium service is about 10 bucks, the middle tier is five bucks, and obviously free is zero dollars. The great thing about Spotify, that beyond having a really, really good selection uh, of music, really everything that you search for appears in the results. There's just so much content, is that it has a gorgeous application. So if we go over here to related artists, we get this beautiful cover art that just looks fantastic on this Android device. And we can really use this for music discovery and bouncing around and looking at latest related artists. You can even swipe to the left and read some bio biographical information about a particular artist. Then if you like the album, you can save it for offline and it downloads to your device and you can listen to it if you're on the subway, if you don't have an internet connection and you don't want to stream it. So Spotify is a great app at zero, five, or around 10 bucks for almost unlimited music and it has almost everything. Really great service. And finally, two other services I'm not going to talk about. They're similar to Spotify, but they don't have that free level of service. We have RDO and Rhapsody. Both have big catalogs of music. They have different features. They have social features. And again, they're about 10 bucks per month for the premium level service. Now, what if you want to stream movies and TV shows to your device, but you don't want to have to pay up every time you watch something? Well, there are several different services I recommend, starting with Netflix. For about eight bucks per month, you're able to stream an unlimited amount of content, and it also works across so many devices. Tablets, Xbox 360, Apple TV. And if you start watching on one device, 
it will save this, the state and where you left off so that you can resume on the next device that you're watching on. And it just has a really good selection. The downside to Netflix is that uh, TV series are particularly slow in being added and so are movies. But in terms of things that have happened and aired about two years ago and all the way back, it's got like everything. It's really fantastic in terms of how much it has. And it, again, it's only $8 per month. The video quality is fantastic. You can stream HD in 720p. If you have an Apple TV and some other devices, it goes up to 1080p. So just really good quality, really inexpensive, and a pretty full catalog here. Now, if you want the latest in TV shows, Hulu Plus is what you want. Again, it's about 8 to 10 bucks per month. And the great thing about Hulu Plus is that if there was an episode of The Office on yesterday, chances are by today it's on Hulu Plus. The downside to Hulu Plus is that it has commercials. Only two or three uh, per episode, and it's really not that bad. Just like Spotify, we've got a beautiful visual application here uh, that has different categories, recommendations, and it's just a very nice application to interact with. Again, inexpensive way to get a lot of great content streaming on your Android device. And of course, this is streaming. You don't own it, but it's always there for you over Wi-Fi or cellular data. If you want to watch a TV show, you even have a handful of movies. The movie selection isn't that big on Hulu, uh, but you're able to watch some of the classics, some of the bigger screen pictures. And of course, you always have YouTube, which is a free option, really high quality in a lot of cases if the video source is in HD. And it just works very well on Android. It's well integrated into Android, and it has just so much great content. A lot of people don't think about it, but you can spend a lot of quality time in YouTube seeing some awesome content without having to pay a dime. So that was a look at ways you can get multimedia onto your Android device. There are so many great streaming options out there that are very inexpensive. You don't have to spend tons of money in the Google Play Store to own everything you want to watch. These subscription services make it very economical to consume multimedia on your Android phone. And that's going to do it for part one of the Android Toolbox. Be sure to check out part two coming up soon, where we're going to talk about ways to control your home with your Android phone or your apartment or wherever you live. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Pocket Now video channel and also to the Tiny Galaxy YouTube channel, which you can find a link to in the description down below. Thanks for watching.